Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to Wimpy Jamie channel. For those of you who don't know me yet, hi, my name is Jamie and I just finished my A-levels last May, June 2021. I got three A-stars and one A for the subjects business studies, accounting, physics, and also maths. This time, I want to share about getting an A in pure maths and also mechanics because both of the subjects are combined into one maths for A levels. Tip number one, be active during those practice in class. I know it's sometimes hard to focus but doing the practice in class and being able to ask your teacher immediately if you don't understand, it's such a great advantage and it helps you along the way when you practice on your own later at home. For maths, the key is actually kind of basic and simple and general i think you already know it's just to do the questions i think learn by doing is a really good term for maths just keep practicing when you meet a struggle when you do a question wrongly then find the right answer because i think once we do the question and we struggle with the question then we know what to work on we're not just learning theory but we know there's a problem that we need to solve and we want to solve also if you have a textbook for math and also mechanics i do recommend you to do the end of chapter questions or rather the questions in each part after like a part of the textbook for example like practice 1a practice 1b practice 1c and also the end of chapter questions it really helps out you know before you deep dive right into the past papers the question is after you do the question there are a lot of questions there are no question on where to find questions <laughs> because questions are there in the internet in websites like papa cambridge or even like physics math tutor save my exams and all the different websites there are a lot of questions out there in the internet you also have your textbook there's a lot of question in the textbook right the question is if there's a question that we cannot do then what should we do this is the real problem this is the real deal that i faced when i was practicing because then i have a question but i don't know where to go i'm confused how to get the answer here are some tips that i'll give you on how to get the right answer firstly you can ask your school teacher if you're online ask for a private call ask the question in class number two ask your friends some of your friends are smart you know right the smart ones approach them and ask them to help you for some of the questions number three you can see the textbook actually i should recommend you to do this first <laughs> like when you struggle to do the question try opening like the textbook for that chapter for example about complex numbers then you can go to complex numbers parts in your textbook and try to reread the textbook there are also key points or key formulas and also some examples in the textbook the solve examples like they have a question and they have the answer try looking at those try if the question is similar and if it can be solved in the similar way like the example if it still kind of challenging to get your friends to teach you or maybe your school teachers are kind of hard to reach then getting a tutor might be the right help like i had a tutor for maths too and it's okay it helped me along the way after that there's still another way on how to understand the topics and also get the right answers which is searching the internet the internet is so smart right now for example if you have a question about integration then maybe you can go to an integration calculator online put down your question and they can solve the question for you after they have like the answers you can try to reverse engineer from the final answer like understand each of the steps how they reach the final answer then you can also watch like tutorials online some people create like maths tutorial videos for a levels and also for mechanics then you can watch those videos to further solidify your understanding on each of the topics and maybe after you understand the topics well you can do the questions maybe sometimes we cannot do the questions because we have not understand the topics well enough one of the channel that helped me to understand some of the topics in pure maths is Geet's math tutorial i'll leave a link below and maybe you want to check that youtube channel out who knows it might help you too during your learning process also for some topics that there's kind of more theory in it for example like trigonometry i do create notes to write like some of the basic formulas that i need to remember and also can help me when doing the practice questions later on you can also do the same thing to just take notes on some of the basic formulas or the hard formulas that's kind of hard to remember it all in your mind at once you can write down in a small piece of paper and refer back to it later when you do the practice question and after you do a lot of practice question the magic is that you start to remember all the formulas in your head it continues to the next point which is to look at the past paper and also understand the different types of question in the past paper because usually the format is 
similar from year to year which means that if you master like the past papers then you probably will do well in your exam for the other tips which can apply to the various different subjects of a levels or even other exams you can watch in my video here i make about how i got three a stars and one a you can watch that video and i think it can complement this video and help you achieve the highest possible marks thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a like because it helps this video to get push further by YouTube because YouTube will see like oh this is a good video so I will push this video if you have any questions you can ask in the comments and if you want more videos from me you can subscribe to my channel see you in the next video bye bye